Yeah? Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, there's hardly anybody to play with around here. Yeah, I know. It always takes a little time to make new friends. Yeah, I guess so. What about Tony? He's looking forward to the hotel, I bet. No, he ain't meant to dance. Now, come on, Tony. Don't be silly. I don't want to go there, Mrs. Dorch. Well, how come you don't want to go? I just don't. Well, let's just wait and see. We're all going to have a real good time. Bill, I'd like you to meet Jack Torrance. How do you do? Bill, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Grab a chair, Bill. Join in. Jack is uh, going to take care of the overlook for us this winter. I'd like you to take him around the place as soon as we're through. Fine. Jack is a school teacher. Uh, formerly a school teacher. What line of work are you in now? I'm a writer. Um, teaching's been more or less a way of making ends meet. Well, this ought to be quite a change for you. Well, I'm looking for a change. Our people in Denver recommended Jack very highly, and for once, I agree with them. Let's see, where will he? I was, you know, about to explain that um, our season here runs from uh, May 15th to October 30th, and then we close down completely until the following May. Do you mind if I ask why you do that? Uh, it seems to me that the skiing up here will be fantastic. Oh, it sure would be. The problem is the enormous cost it would be to keep the road to Sidewinder open. It's a... It's a 25-mile stretch of road. It gets an average of 20 feet of snow during the winter, and there's just... there's no way to make it economically feasible to keep it uh, clear. When the place was built in uh, 1907, there was very little interest in winter sports. And this site was chosen for its seclusion and scenic beauty. Well, it's certainly got plenty of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, did they uh, give you any idea in Denver about uh, what the job entails? Only in a very general way. Well, the winters can be fantastically cruel. And the basic idea is to, to cope with the very costly damage and depreciation which can occur. And this consists mainly of running the boiler, heating different parts of the hotel on a daily rotating basis, repairing damage as it occurs, and doing repairs so that the elements can't get a foothold. Well, that sounds fine to me. Mm. Physically, it's, it's not a very demanding job. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is uh, the tremendous sense of isolation. 